Hello and welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something special. I'm going to be doing a film update on the sequel to the Battle of Roseburg movie. So for starters, I finally came up with a name for the sequel. It's going to be called The Invasion of Roseburg. It took me a long time to come up with a name because I wanted it to be something cool and something that summed up what the movie was about. So I'm happy that I finally have a name and I could work on the poster and get the thumbnail ready, which I'm really happy with how the poster slash thumbnail turned out. So it's cool that I was able to come up with the name. Before I start talking about the movie itself, I'm just going to talk about some other Rails to Roseburg things. So the first thing I would like to talk about is it's going to be time for me to change my editing software soon and just the device I edit on as well because I've been using the same phone for editing Rails to Roseburg for a long time. I think I've been using the same phone for all of Rails to Roseburg, the entire existence of the series because I think my old Samsung was already crashed before I started Rails to Roseburg. I might be wrong. But my phone is old. It's like a 2012 or a 2013. And for people who would watch my live streams, you might remember me saying my phone is overheating. So yeah, it, you know, had issues with getting hot and this lag and just stuff like that. And now talking about the editing software, it's, it's this, it's not the app for me anymore. I remember using two apps for Rails to Roseburg. I had one app before this one and then this one now, which I want to try and move away from. So one of the main issues that I have with it is just the ads. The ads have just become so trashy. It's like, I don't want to be seeing this stuff. So the ads really ruin it for me. And also, this app has ruined my movies in the past. Like, I'm not sure if this is the one that I used for the Battle of Roseburg. The Battle of Roseburg was going to look a lot better than it did because it was clear and just very colorful. But for some reason, when I uh, exported the film out of the editing app, it gave it this, you know, washed out, faded look. And it just didn't look as good as I had hoped. It just completely ruined the color of the film. And I had already released a trailer like two months ago and just all the hype was there. So I just released the movie anyway, even though it was washed out. So it completely really wrecked the appearance of the Battle of Roseburg and talking about the sequel, the invasion of Roseburg, like it looks good so far. It looks, you know, nice and colorful as the Battle of Roseburg was supposed to, but I've already caught it messing up my movies again. Like there's a scene and like there's a little pixel thing in the sky. Like it's nothing serious, but I want my films to look the best that they can. And when it's something that the editing app does, like I look at my footage when, you know, I put it in there and it always comes out worse than when I put it in. And that's something that's been an issue with Rails to Roseburg for a long time. Because if you look back at season one and season two and you're like, man, it's so blurry. Why is it so just faded and bad? Like that wasn't the way it was supposed to be because I still have the original footage from the season one episodes on my Google Drive. And you'll be amazed how clear and good they look. It's just after they come out the editing app, they just get wrecked. And that's just not, that's just very, very annoying. I want to find some good software that, you know, takes out your video at the same quality that you put it in, which is something that I want to be on the lookout for. Also, if I can find one that doesn't have ads or at least has clean ads, like a Fruit Loop commercial or something. So that's something that I would like to consider and just switching devices as a whole. I'm not really sure if I want to switch to one of my Apple products because I use my Apple stuff for rail fanning and they're pretty loaded up right now with stuff. And PC editing is pretty difficult. So I might have to learn that, but we'll see what happens. So now talking about uh, the invasion of Roseburg and what the progress has been like. I'm happy with the progress that I've got done on the movie. It's not like 99% done or anything. It's still uh, early days, but I'm really happy with how much I've gotten done so far and this, the overall quality of this. Because this is, I want this movie to be like the new best movie I've ever made in my entire film career. Because that's what I said about the Battle of Roseburg. But this the washed out quality 
and this the glitches and the bad frame rate is this it didn't live up to what I wanted it to be and I've learned a lot since the Battle of Roseburg like I've not I'm not having some of the issues that I had during the Battle of Roseburg that I'm now you know now that I'm working on the invasion of Roseburg a lot of those issues are gone like I'm no longer dealing with bad frame rate or anything as for estimated release date, I didn't want to release the movie in December for personal re reasons. A friend of mine will know why I, didn't, I don't want to release it in December, but that might end up happening because I have at least three to four weeks left of work before the movie is done. So it's either going to be December or January. We'll just have to see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.